Okay, hello everyone, it's Dan here at Pyrohead Skyworks. I'm going to show you how to use one of these small uh, firing systems that we're selling this year in the shop. So you have your four channel receiver here with the antenna, on off switch, the battery compartment. So what we're gonna do, you also have a remote here, which has the four buttons to ignite each, each of the corresponding cues, which also has an antenna. When you fire the fireworks, you'd pull both antennas out like so. Yeah, cool, so there we go. I'm just gonna put that safety cover back on so we don't accidentally press anything. We'll put that back for now. It also comes with four talons, yeah? So what we're gonna do now, first thing to do is put the batteries in. Now, when you're connecting this to your fireworks, you wanna be doing it where you're going to fire the fireworks. So wherever it is, in, you know, in your garden or you know, in your kind of, uh, you know, your venue that you're gonna fire the fireworks, yeah? So you set the fireworks up in the position they're gonna fire first before you wire them up to the firing system, yeah? So we've got the batteries in. Gonna connect it there. We're gonna switch it on just to make sure it's working, yeah? All five lights, you've got a little, little power switch there, and then the four bright red lights showing that these are working, okay? So we're gonna now switch it off, okay? So that's working. Make sure you put brand new batteries in this, yeah? Don't use old batteries or it won't work properly, yeah? It won't fire your fireworks correctly, okay? So there we go. So you've got your receiver, okay? So next we're gonna look at the talons, which we actually use to, to wire onto the fireworks. So what we're gonna do, we've got four fireworks here. So we're gonna put the uh, talon, I'm gonna show you how to connect it to a firework fuse, like, like here. But we're not actually gonna wire these into the receiver here because we're in the shop. We've got some live fireworks here. We don't wanna have a, an incident. So firstly, what you'll do, you'll kind of unwire the unwire this first, yeah? Uh, you'll put the clip here. So when you open it up here, if you have a look there, you can see there's a little wire in there. Just try and get the focus there so you can see the wire. Hmm. How about that? See a little wire there on the bottom of the little arch? So there is a little wire there. Uh, okay, that is what actually connects it. Yeah? It's quite annoying. So you can see the little wire there. Just about to see it in the arch. <laughs> uh, anyway, there is a little wire there. Anyway, okay, so it's across the little, the little kind of archway there, yeah? So what you need to do is open the jaws and then you'll get the firework fuse, which is here, the green visco, yeah? And you clip it on to here, and then you just release it like so, yeah? Just release it, so then it, it, it kind of, there's a little jaw, so it, it just clips onto the visco fuse, yeah? Just make sure it's on there firmly and it won't slide off or anything, yeah? That's fine, don't press it too much, too hard, Otherwise you might damage the wire inside that actually heats up the fuse and fires it, yeah? So just make sure it's on there. Okay, so that's on now, yeah? So what you'll do, some of the fireworks have reserve fuses. Make sure you put it on the main fuse, yeah? So this one here, we've actually got a reserve fuse here. So we put it around the wrong, wrong way, yeah? It's very easily done. So you've got the main fuse actually here. So what you wanna do, make sure you don't connect it to reserve fuse unless the main fuse doesn't work, yeah? So we're gonna turn it around. Got your main fuse there, yeah? Okay, so what you do, you just clip all your talons exactly the same way uh, to each firework. And I'm not gonna kind of do too much here, but I'm just clipping another one on for you guys. So again, make sure you've got your little wire in there, clip it on there, make sure it's on there firmly and it won't fall off, yeah? Okay, okay, that one's a little bit loose. So just uh, kind of get it a bit lower. Give it a little press, that's fine there. Yeah, it's not coming off, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna take these off because we don't wanna connect these to that because they're live. So we'll take these off now, for now. And we've got some little bits of visco here that we're going to connect it to, yeah? So we're gonna take that one off. Okay, so what we'll do now is we're gonna actually connect this to the visco, yeah? So we'll connect number one, talon, onto the visco here. We're gonna pretend this is a firework, okay? In a minute, we'll go outside and we'll fire it. So, you get your talon here, and then get, you'll see there's a little break here, and then there's a little sheath over the end of the wires. Just slide that off, separate the two wires like so. Use your finger now to split 
the orange plastic cover, yeah? Make sure you don't damage the plastic and, and show metal in here or you could have a short circuit. So because these are so long, what you want to do is fold them in half or cut them in half. I'm going to fold them in half because it's easier. So we're going to fold them in half like so. We're then going to get there, making sure that the receiver is switched off at all times. We're going to put one in the red and one end in the black. It doesn't matter which, they're both exactly the same. So as long as you've got one in black, one in red, it doesn't matter. Which, which one you actually put in there, yeah? As long as there's one in each, okay? So that's that one done now. It's connected to the Visco, that's ready to fire. So we're gonna get another one now, connect it to another bit of Visco. Again, same thing there. Okay, this one's, yeah, okay, that's on. And exactly the same again. This one we've already been messing around with, so it's already kind of ready, yeah? But they will all be like the first one I showed you, yeah, you which you'll have to split, yeah? As you can see, I've already split it and I'll fold them in half, yeah? Again, one in red, one in black. Job done. Next one, a bit of visco. Got a bit of visco here. You can just see that. There is a little wire there. Can you see that now? Or... Okay, so there is a little wire. Just make sure you don't damage the wire that's inside because the wire will, will kind of touch that and it will bend a little bit around the visco yeah so you need that to firmly touch the visco in order to heat it up and fire it yeah but without breaking the wire so you don't press it too hard just very gently until you feel it gripping it yeah and it won't slide off yeah so there we go that's number three <clears throat> or c i should say again it's already been prepared yeah you have to split that as i showed you the first one one in red one in black yeah a b c d okay so yeah what you know, one in red, one in black for the foot A, one in red, one in black for B, one in red, one in black for C, yeah? Then we've got D. <clears throat> again, we'll grab a little bit of visco here again. And we've got our talon here. That's closed nicely on it, okay. Then we will, again, it's been prepared, so let's put that in there, yeah? Okay. Okay, so there we go. So that is now all connected. I'm just going to move this over here. Um, move these over here. I think what we'll do, we'll go outside before we actually switch it on. So we'll stop the video now and we'll reconvene outside.